Got him. Caught one. Got one. Yeah. Do you see how big the head is? Yeah. Got him. I'm back here at one of my favorite lakes, Pyramid Lake. And uh, haven't been here in a pretty long time. Target species today, any bass species. I have a little top water tied on, as well as a little craw. Through that top water round, I'm not seeing any signs of like fish feeding, so I'm gonna toss this Texas rigged craw around. This is the Mojo craw from Fisher Spates. This is a good spot for smallmouth, right here. I've caught a few in the past from here. That was a bite. Got him. Nice. Oh, it's a nice small mouth. Nice small mouth. All right, chill out, chill out. Oh, he's bleeding a little bit. Let's put him in the water. Nice smallmouth, probably just over a pound, pound and a half on that mojo craw. All right. There it goes. Nice, first fish of the day. All right, I'm gonna switch this guy out because claw's missing. Three inch mojo craw. I like baits that come in these clamshell packaging because it just keeps it straight and organized. When I'm casting in, I'm just letting the bait hit the bottom and literally just dragging it to me. Once you feel the tick, you just set the hook. Oh, damn. Crap. Holy crap. I freaking missed him. Shit. He must have just grabbed the claws. Damn, that was a strong hit. I'm guessing that was a smallmouth. Maybe we should beeline it. Yeah. Point. That rock That's point? 100%. We're not rock point, it's gonna have something. I think we'll catch a lot larger fish Damn, these are sketchy ass rocks. A rat! You saw it? No. A rat or a muskrat? I. It looked like a rat. Right in between us? Yeah. It went by your bag. Oh. Dude, that thing was huge. Got one. Got one. Yeah. Large mouth. Dude, look how big. Do you see how big the head is?
No. <laughs> Remember how I said there should be a craw eater here? I might want pictures. Dude, the eyes are like sunken in. This is an old fish. All right, just get a picture of me really quick. All right. Three pounder. Very nice fish. All right. Let's let him go. All right. Thanks for the fight. Let's see if we can get some more. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm using a 1 8 ounce tungsten bullet weight with a 2 watt hook. Good morning. morning. Guys, don't mind if I go on that side, right? I'm just going to walk by. I don't know if you can get past there. I don't know how deep it is. So who knows? I was here actually a couple days ago. I was like just up to my shins. I'm okay with that. Uh oh, you have any luck around here? I haven't been here in like 30 years. This whole spot's good because there's like a crazy drop off right here. Yeah. All year long, there's small mouth and large mouth here. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Appreciate that, buddy. No problem. Yeah, if you want to get wet, yeah. Ah, it's okay. I'm willing to get wet. It's not too cold today. All right, man. Good luck. You Thank you. Got him. There we go. I think it's a small mouth. Yep. Sweet. Damn. Nice small mouth. That one might be two pounds. 0.91 kilo. So I don't know. That's maybe two pounds. Very nice looking, healthy small mouth. All right, let's put them back. No way, dude. Got one. Dude, it felt like a rock. Crazy. <laughs> felt like a rock. Another nice small mouth. Oh, almost, almost. He was swimming with it. Look at that. Another two pounder, he's kind of bleeding. Let me dip him in the water again. He might have it too deep. Okay, I need to hurry up. I need to hurry up. Fires. Oh, I got it out. He seems to be doing fine.
All right, swim off. Nice.